Hi and welcome everybody to Learn Egyptian, uh, the third lesson. We're going to learn uh, new types of hieroglyphs called uh, biliteral signs and multiliteral uh, signs. But before that, we're going to have a little recap of what we did last time. So last time we went through the Egyptian alphabet and we uh, learned their equivalent in hieroglyphic signs. So let's read together the Egyptian alphabet. A, E, Yi, A, W, B, P, F, M, N, R, H, 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 R, Z, S, Sh, Q, K, G, T, J, D, J. We learned last time was that there are Egyptian um, alphabets. So basically there are uh, hieroglyphics that uh, can be read as a single sound like the sound M or the sound P. Um, there are other types of hieroglyphics. The second type is biliteral signs. So basically these are signs that can be uh, transcribed into two consonants. Uh, the example given here is the letter or the hieroglyphic men. So this is a hieroglyphic that transcribes two uh, consonants, M and N. And there are other kinds of hieroglyphics that transcribe more than two consonants. Uh, they are called multiliteral uh, signs. This scarab that you see on the screen is read cheper, cheper. And so through the next videos, we're going to learn uh, about all those uh, biliteral signs. Most of hieroglyphics are written using either uh, the alphabet or the biliteral signs. So uh, I give you the chart in the description as a link. Um, and on the screen is part of that chart. So basically the way you use the chart is on the left is the column with uh, the starting letter. So basically let's say take the, the, the line with the letter P. So it starts with a P and it ends with R. It's written per, per. And per is the word for house. And as you see, it's the hieroglyphic that shows a house. So that's how this chart works. Uh, on the left, you have first letter. On top, you have the last letter. You can try to print that uh, or look at this on your computer and try to memorize a few of them. But through the next videos, we're going to look at examples of words that are going to help us memorize the most important of those signs or at least the most recurrent of those signs. So that's for the biliteral uh, signs. There are also multiliteral signs that we are going to also study in the next few videos. Um, some of them are very rare. They're not used very often. And so basically we're going to choose the, the ones that are more used. So you don't need to worry about memorizing any of those for the time being. We're going to go through those in the next videos. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.